Liberal Dan Radio presents Fat Man Rants. On May 9th, the jury did not find that it was more likely than not that Donald Trump raped E. Jean Carroll in order to find him civilly liable for damages. The jury, however, did find that there was sufficient evidence to find him civilly liable for sexual abuse and that he should have to pay damages for that. But if you watched the conservative responses on Twitter afterwards, you'd have thought he was exonerated. They were saying things like, breaking, the jury in New York just rejected E. Jean Carroll's rape claim against Donald Trump. Justice. Without mentioning anything else. They were saying things like, the mainstream media is spitting it as if he is guilty, but don't focus on the main charge, but rather the two minor charges, then claim that he was guilty. A. There's no guilt here. It was not a criminal trial. It was a civil one. And B. Sexual abuse is minor to this person? What? Another one said, not sexual assault, sexual abuse. As if that made it better. Let me be clear. If President Biden gets within a foot of sniffing someone's hair, they call for his impeachment. But to them, all that matters is that the burden of proof was not met for him to be found civilly liable for rape. They have no problem with him being found civilly liable for sexual abuse. These are the same people who said that his grab him by the hoo-ha comment was simply locker room talk. But guess what? In his deposition, Trump doubled down and said that stars can do it and have been doing it for millions of years. He probably watched Mel Brooks' History of the World Part 1 and thought it was a documentary and based his worldview on King Louis. It's good to be the king. Let me be clear. This is no longer just about Trump. We all know how he feels, that he feels entitled and empowered to grab people without gaining consent. It is no longer locker room talk. Anyone with four working brain cells already knew that it wasn't locker room talk when he first said it. But he proved that it wasn't locker room talk with the deposition. But now, this is about the people who now view sexual abuse as minor, who gloss over sexual abuse, who have no problem with the fact that he is civilly liable for sexually abusing people. And if you are married to any one of these people or dating one of these people, get a divorce and or break up with them. Because you don't know who they victimized before and you don't want to be their next victim. It is said that the people are revolting. You said it. They stink on ice.